driving a European car and the indicator stalk in my car is on the left hand side of the steering wheel which I say all cars should be because everywhere in the world except Australia and Japan the indicator stalk is on the left hand side of the steering wheel it's only these two countries where they insist on putting it on the right hand side of the steering wheel and I don't know why enough said wind over. over oh the indicator stalk is on the different side of the car I'm used to driving off oh, sake oh! Stop! Oh, stop! It's not start, stop. Well, there's a tick against it. There is something that does annoy me about it straight away. Is every time you stop, the engine turns off. Now I'm sure you can override that somehow. I haven't figured out how to do that. It upsets the air conditioning. Oop, and there it goes again. Yes, it seems to. The air conditioning doesn't work and I don't know why or whether it comes back on again after a little while if it starts to get warm, but it certainly gets warmer than I'd like to, to put up with it. It's quite a warm day in Brisbane and the engine stops. I know it's got start, stop. I know it's supposed to save fuel, whether it really does. Oh, I doubt. Stupid, stupid start, stop. It stopped again. Oop, that's going again. In the space of about 20 metres, the engine started and stopped four times. Then, oh, that can't be good. That's a lot of torque steer. That's a lot of torque steer. It's getting hotter. It's getting warmer. Will the engine restart if it gets too hot in here? No, oh, it's going green. Uncomfortable. Oh, it's got torque steer. I didn't even hardly give it throttle that time. <laughs> 